So it's the Chatelaine edition of City Line. You know, the two properties just have so much in common. We decided to smack them together and, and do some great television. So please welcome Claire Tansy right up the top. It's an amazing recipe. Hello, Miss Claire. Sauntering in. You know, I like to show them uh, you, the iPad incarnation oh, of Chatelaine. So she's so pretty. So well, pretty. You know what? She is gorgeous, yeah. isn't she? Because she's a boozy popsicle, mm. people. That's not a popsicle for your toddler. We're going to talk about that later on in the show. <laughs> you bet. Because um, there's all sorts of fun things you can do uh, with these. But first, we're going to start by grilling. Yes. So this is a grilling menu. So this is, you know, you think, oh, I, gosh, I like those neighbors across the street so much. We should have them over. Oh, yeah, we should have them over. Totally. Have them over tonight. Why not? This is a dinner party. Everything from the side dishes to the dessert comes together in just one hour. So you walk into the kitchen and you are serving it one hour later. That's not bad. As long as you don't have too many boozy cocktails. Right. Because that can sometimes slow things down. It might. Sometimes it, time it does. Time seems to evaporate. Maybe save those for dessert. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Oh, okay. you know. Not an appetizer. I, I, I know. It's, a it's always nice. Now, when we're talking about uh, quick entertaining and easy entertaining, there are some shortcuts that you want to take. Yeah. And there are some things that you actually want to do by hand okay. so that in the end you have a meal that really feels homemade and special mm -hmm. and yet it hasn't stressed you out. Okay. I'm so I like unstressed the no today. Look, I'm so, I'm so unstressed. You're so relaxed. So one of the things we're going to do is make our own pickles. And I remember making pickles with my mom. Really? You know, it, it was a weekend. It was like a whole weekend thing. Yeah. It took forever. But this is the five-minute pickle. Okay. So this is we're speeding it up. Because it sounds to me that's that, like that's labor intensive I know. to make your own pickles. I know. But this is so you you know our favorite little mini cucumbers. Yeah. So we took a couple of them and quartered them just okay. in the long way. Yeah. And then this is just white vinegar and water. And then the key ingredient in pickles, if you can believe it, is sugar. You're kidding me. I know. I thought they were a healthy treat. They are a healthy treat. They're, they virtually have very few calories. Okay. Because the sugar syrup, the sugar solution is just going to go around the outside and okay. do things to the pickles in the jar. Right. All now, right. Okay. Uh, let's do some salt because, of yeah. course, pickling is all about salt. And so once this sugar dissolves, which takes about one and a half minutes, um, you just pour it over. Now, I'm just slightly concerned for your iPad. Yeah, go is it ahead. A, is it a company iPad? It, yeah, it might be. Well, you know, then let's get it all. <laughs> so that's it. Now, those, once they cool to room temperature, become pickles. That's it? That's it. Now, they're not the kind of crunchy, crispy pickles you get out of a jar, but they right. are lovely homemade dill pickles. That's Ooh, really nice. Shall we put the dill in? Make them let's dill pickles? Let's put a little bit of dill. Put them in there. Let's, let's throw in some dill in there. There we go. Very nice. So that is something that you can do in l literally a minute and a half. And instead of opening a jar, you've done something homemade. So right. you see what so I mean? You can like that. say, I bought the rest of the meal, but this I homemade. <laughs> I made this just five minutes before you came here. No, we're gonna make the whole thing. We're gonna we're gonna no, grill the it's chicken. All right. And then so barbecue chicken. I love a nice saucy barbecue chicken. You oh, know, yeah. it's a classic. And again, you can open a jar of barbecue sauce, or you can make this really simple one, which is just some chili sauce and an onion. Okay. And a little bit of ketchup. Ketchup is the secret ingredient in most things. Yeah, for everything. You know, my kids really find that too. <laughs> bit of brown sugar. And in five minutes, this will turn into a really special, that's garlic powder and chili Ooh, flakes. I like that. And this will turn into something that is really unique tasting. So your, your barbecue chicken isn't going to taste like every other barbecue chicken on the street. Okay, yours is special. Hoisin sauce and Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Those are the is ones. Is that the difference? It's kind of the difference. Could you give that a stir, please, sure. my dear? Oh, we're also going to turn off that so that nobody burns themselves. Okay. So that just uh, cooks for sweet, about five minutes. Savory, we sweet, have the savory, a little bit of nice. spicy, and then you yeah. get this, which looks a lot like barbecue sauce. In fact, it is barbecue sauce. Yeah. And then once your chicken is halfway cooked, you just get out the super generous spoon and start smearing that all over the joint. Oh, yummy. So good. So you don't flip it ever. Oh, I flip. I will flip. The thing is with this, we're using bone-in, skin-on chicken pieces. Okay. They are really the best for the barbecue. Yeah. And that's because, uh, you know, if you use boneless, skinless, dries out. Too dry. A little bit rubbery. Yeah. Not, not the worst thing in the world, but this is much better. And this way, you get to cook it and get that flavor on there with the um, barbecue sauce. Yeah. But it's not going to get all dried out. So you still have some juice in there. That fat exactly. is going to create the exactly. juice. Exactly. Right. But if you don't, and if you only want to do chicken breast, that's fine. Or you can do all the whole melange yeah. drumsticks okay. and everything. Good. So now we have homemade pickles. We have um, an incredible chicken. Yep. Barbecue sauce. Shall we make a quick dessert? Let's do it. Let's do it. Quick dessert. Because you can do it all on the grill. You can do it all on the grill. Why turn on the oven when you don't have to? Yeah, I it's hate hot turning out. on the oven when it's hot. So beautiful in-season peaches. Mm -hmm. uh, you just cut them in half and give them a little bit of honey. 
And then I'm going to give them a little sprinkle of cinnamon as well. I nearly put the honey in my water. That wouldn't have been bad. <laughs> I love cinnamon in dessert. I actually I love it all the time. Yeah. Um, but it's really, really nice with peaches. And what we're going to do is just grill these peaches really quickly. We're not okay. trying to like cook them, make them soft. We're just yeah. going to get them to an, the next level. Give just them the that next little level. bit of grilled flavor. Exactly. And the honey is going to caramelize and uh, it'll actually start to burn if you leave them on too long. So you just want it to kind of sizzle up a little bit. All right. Now the thing about grilling fruit on the barbecue is you got to make sure that part of the barbecue is clean. It wasn't the part that you just did salmon on last Chicken week. Chicken peach. Yeah. Salmon peach. I mean, mm. some, some people do. Thomas's new thing is olives and uh, strawberries at the same time. Good for him. Uh, you know, he's developing his palate. Oh, I tell you. That's that is, okay. How old is Thomas now? He's two um, years and a few months. Okay, two years old. What do you think? Is that the olive face? That's the olive face. Yeah, <laughs> he'll pass through to that. He also, and then he'll want a good old boozy popsicle. He certainly will. <laughs> so this is we're, we call this peach melba, because, which means peaches and raspberries. So we've got okay. some um, frozen yogurt, ice cream, whatever you have. Again, this is a great shortcut. Don't make your own ice cream. Just buy some. Just buy some. Then you take your beautiful grilled peach. Lovely. Oh, that looks great. Pop that in there, and then this is one of the best secrets. I know. This is for it's quick entertaining. It's a cookie. It's called an amaretti. Amaretti. Yes. It's uh, zero fat, crunchy, almondy. They crumble beautifully, and you've got to have a package of these in your in your pantry at all times. And you because just shake it on top. It's like you just crumble them, and then it's almondy and crunchy and crumbly, and you've opened a package. So good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So uh, cityline.ca for that recipe as well.